Um, I was going to talk first of all about Conscious TV, um, just a little bit about the history, because this, this book that we're going to hear about later is transcriptions of interviews that we did um, on the Enneagram, obviously, uh, for Conscious TV over a period of about four years, and it has a has a kind of story in itself, which Eleanor will, uh, will, will tell you about. But Conscious TV was something that my wife Renata, who's the beautiful woman sitting in the front row here, there's lots of beautiful women, but the extra beautiful, <laughs> beautiful women in the front row here, um, we started it um, about seven years ago, and it's like, I, I always, for myself, I always love to hear the story behind ideas and what happened was with Conscious TV that Renata and I were on holiday in La Gomera, which is one of the Canary Islands, which is, uh, we've been to most of the Canary Islands, it's the most beautiful one really. And it was New Year's Eve, so 31st December 2006, and we were having, we were having dinner together there and she was having uh, a bottle of the best champagne they had in, in the place. Yes. <laughs> and I was having my, I was having a bottle of the best mineral water that I had in the house, and we were we were kind of reviewing our lives. I'd recently become sixty. We were reviewing our lives to see what we wanted to do with the years we had left, whatever that was. So, and one of the things that came up for me was it'd be great to have a TV channel because I've always liked new challenges, and I thought. TV channel, we can make programs and I can put things out there or we can put things out there that we think that people are going to want to watch because we've got Sky at home as I'm sure many of you have. Most of it's complete rubbish on there. So anyway, I checked it out and the idea was maybe a little over ambitious because I looked at the costing of getting a Sky channel and it was half a million pound just to get the satellite time and the... Uh, um, and other bits and pieces without making programs, I thought that's a little bit of a step too far. So in the end, started making programs about a year later uh, with the idea of putting them on the internet and trying to get them on on a Sky channel, not as a channel on its own, but as, a, as part of a channel. So I, I hired a studio for a day, I think Renata was away, I wasn't there, and I made some programs, I got home and watched them and I thought, they're terrible. Because <laughs> I was interviewing and I wasn't experienced. But I kind of coached myself and got some more days in the studio. And somehow it, it got a life and something began, began to work. And, and, and then Renata started to get involved and do some interviews. And our, and, our, and our philosophy was very simple. We're just going to interview people that we think are interesting and that we like. It wasn't a business, there was no income, so it was just a labour of love, and it was about our own journeys to some extent, our own spiritual journeys. So, and then um, I heard about Non-Duality Press, and we have here the distinguished head of Non-Duality Press, <laughs> Julian Noyce at the back here. He's the one that looks like the Russian spy. <laughs> and uh, I rang him and he said, well, you can interview some of my authors. So that's how we got we got Jeff Foster and Richard Sylvester, and Rupert Spira, who's become a good friend now. And uh, we met some great people through, through Julian. And then we produced this book called Conversations on Non-Duality, which was transcripts of those interviews. So um, that was the start of our literary output, if you like, for Unconscious TV. And again, Eleonora was very... Was very uh, instrumental in getting this together. It wouldn't have happened without her. And then we had the idea of doing some, both Eleonora and Renata and myself really loved the Enneagram. So then we had the idea of doing some programs on the Enneagram. And what we thought was, let's not have theoretical programs. Because one thing on Conscious TV we don't do is, we don't have somebody on and saying, well, I've got a theory about so-and-so. They have to share themselves, share their life, share their journey. And there may be a theory or something that comes out of that, or an idea that comes out of that, but it is really very much down to what they have inside, what they've discovered for themselves and their journey. So we had the idea of doing these panels, the nine different Enneagram types, and having three people from each type on each, 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 on each panel. 
And Ele Eleonora really did her research and found the people. And some of you are here, of course, who've been on the panels. And it was a very successful series. We also put the, um, the programs up on YouTube as well as Conscious TV. And they run on Sky now at night as well. And they get a lot of views, these Enneagram panels. People like them and leave, leave good comments. So um, that was it. That's, that's pretty much it in terms of how we did the uh, Enneagram programs. And there's some more people featured in straight interviews that Eleanor will tell you about. And uh, we've now made nearly 400 programs on uh, Conscious TV over seven years. Uh, Eleanor's done a few interviews, it's mainly Renata and myself, and we're slowing down a bit now because we've, uh, we've covered a lot of people and it's a lot of work to do, although we enjoy doing it. 